While there are over a hundred wine and liquor stores in the Boston area, none have a business model as novel as Urban Grape in Chestnut Hill. Founded by TJ and Hadley Douglas in June of 2010, Urban Grape offers both a personalized shopping experience and is an educational resource for enophiles and wine novices alike. On a recent visit to the store, we caught up with TJ to discuss how Urban Grape is born from dream to reality and learned about his unique take on organizing wine by weight as opposed to growing region or varietal. Hi, my name is TJ Douglas and I'm the owner of the Urban Grape, a new wine shop in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. And I uh, just want to give you a little tour and an idea of uh, the philosophy of the Urban Grape. First, uh, we have about 750 different wines and I've decided to set that up uh, in a progressive uh, format, meaning I've set it up by weight. Uh, you tend to hear the terms light body, medium body, full body. Uh, I've decided to compare that to skim milk, whole milk, and heavy cream and also put a numerical system to it. So the skim milks and the urban grape are going to be the ones and the whole milks are going to be fives and the uh, heavy creams are going to be tens. Skim milk is uh, very light, watery in your mouth. Whole milk tends to be uh, a little bit uh, uh, more viscous and will stay around and hang there for a little while. And then heavy cream is going to just sit there and just coat your mouth until you have something that uh, cleanses your palate. And what this does uh, for my clients, it helps them understand why they drink what they drink. The idea behind the, the Urban Grape is to let people uh, experience new wines and new textures and new price points and new regions of the world uh, while keeping them in their comfort zone. And that comfort zone that we have at the Urban Grape is, is your weight class, what you tend to drink. A uh, perfect example is Chardonnay. So Chardonnay is a grape varietal grown in many different parts of the world uh, and it's just manipulated in a different way every single time. So this is a great Chardonnay that we have from a producer Gilbert Peak, and this is a Chardonnay coming from the region of Chablis in Burgundy. Now on the back of this bottle, I have this set up as a three. Uh, so on my scale of one to ten, this three drinks more like one or two percent milk. So this is Chardonnay manipulated in a lighter style that's unoaked. Next we'll move up to Farniente, uh, traditional style Napa uh, Chardonnay, and this I have as a nine. So this is going to be closer to your heavy cream. And so this is going to be a full body Chardonnay. Uh, absolutely delicious compared to the Gilbert Peak Chablis, which is going to be a lighter style Chardonnay. So if you're a Chardonnay lover and you like the Farniente style, that's a nine, more heavy cream, staying in your comfort zone, it might allow you to try and be comfortable with uh, de Trafford Chenin Blanc from Stellenbosch, South Africa. So this is, while keeping your comfort zone, letting you experience a new flavor and a new price point and a new region of the world and also a new grape, but keeping you in the comfort zone of the same weight class that you usually drink. The idea of comparing the weight and mouthfeel of wine to that of various types of milk is most easily understood during the tasting process which just so happens is a major component of how Urban Grape works with its customers. And with two state-of-the-art wine tasting machines, grasping the concept of a wine's weight becomes a very fun endeavor. So with the Enomatic tasting machines, I offer uh, 16 different wines, uh, six whites, two rosés, and eight reds. Uh, we'll change these up every three to four weeks. And uh, right now, the 16 wines that I have in here are used as a guide for the wine wall. Uh, if you like a particular wine, but it's not in your price range, we can find that particular wine style and weight class and make it fit your budget. So we taste these wines, and these are free tastings all the time. Um, I have the first one in here is uh, a grape called Pecorino. Now this grape, uh, the way that this grape was manipulated, it was to me manipulated in a skim milk style. So this is considered on my palate a one. So you would come over here, you taste this, if you like this weight class, we'd go over to the wall and show you 40 different wines from around the world at different price points that will have the same weight class as this grape Pecorino. Moving up, we have a dry Riesling from Trimbach. This is a two. Uh, then we have a California Sauvignon Blanc, three, a Chablis up to four, all the way up to a, a Byron Chardonnay, which I have as an eight. So that's going to be drinking closer to, say, half and half. Uh, and then we also have a few rosés in there, a uh, light-bodied one and a full-bodied one. And we also have uh, red 
wines and Enomatic as well. So starting off with a very light style uh, red, uh, it's an unoaked grape called Bernarda from Argentina. Uh, moving all the way up to my 10, which is Kay Mittner's uh, Millbrand Vineyard Syrah, uh, which is definitely a heavy cream style of wine. So taking the intimidation out of wine, uh, you need to taste it. And so here at the Urban Grape, we do uh, tastings besides the Enomatic, which is daily, we do tastings every Thursday and Friday, five to seven, and Saturdays, one to three. And that's everything from wine to sake, which we have a wonderful selection of, to kosher wine, to uh, one of our 110 craft beers that we have. During my four years of working with Ruby Wines uh, downtown Boston, uh, what, I, what I realized in a lot of the retail accounts is that people just came in and just purchased a bottle of wine and there might have been someone to help them or might have been someone to uh, just ring them up at the cash register. And what I saw was missing was what I see in restaurants when you're greeted by a hostess or a host and you're greeted by a server and a bartender will know your name and I just wanted to bring that into the retail world. And so that's what we do at the Urban Grape. You're greeted. Uh, we have a great uh, POS system that will build a profile for you, so it will remember every single item you've ever purchased here, uh, which eventually, as I mentioned, we can use as a concierge service and make wonderful mixed cases of wine without having to have a conversation of what do you usually drink because you're already in the Urban Grape system. Urban Grape is easily one of our favorite wine shops, and it's not hard to see why. With passionate ownership, a highly knowledgeable staff, and a bevy of weekly tasting opportunities, what's not to like? See Urban Grape for yourself at 7 Boylston Street in Chestnut Hill, and be sure to let them know that French Oak sent you.